far end. But when half that bracket could reasonably make top 16, well, then you got a bit of an issue making your bets on who's going to get where. But right now, we got the first match at top 8 in Sador for us. Suarez versus Lingling. And Lingling coming back once again with the DDD. Uh... I know he's been I know he's been fiending the character a little bit. I'm I'm mainly surprised because he was going Peach earlier. So maybe maybe it's a character counterpick, maybe it's a player counterpick. I don't know. Yeah, my guess here is that Ling does not want to like get beaten out of the sky by Yoshi because even though Peach is very good at oppressing airspace, Yoshi is top dog when it comes to like telling someone to get out of his airspace. DDD, on the other hand, just takes up so much space. Doesn't really matter if you've got the tools to combo him. He's got a whole, a whole hammer, bro. That hammer is huge too. Yes, and that hammer is going to be really important for allowing Ling Ling to take back the ledge and platforms between back air and up air. If Ling Ling is careful with his buttons, Suarez is going to be dying fairly early, at least earlier than you'd expect a Yoshi can time his double jumps right. True. I was just about to say one of like one of Yoshi's is like key strength is like his survivability. He's so fast in the air, he's quite heavy, his recovery is really hard to like contest. Ooh, that was a that was a great up tilt. That actually I'm surprised that hit because Yoshi was so low. But like the the fact that your DDD is like you can go for stray hits and like kill Yoshi and like a surprisingly early percent for Yoshi. Yeah, no, it's it's really important. Like, DD, I think, was a solid pick from Ling here, and at least right off the bat, he's showing it. Like, another aspect being that, like, DDD's on the heavier end of the cast. Like, oh, he's yeah. going to be able to naturally live a lot of these uh, combos that Suarez is going to be able to put out. Suarez is already at 95 right now. He's in the... He's in kind of a kill percent range right now, but that's what happens when you play a heavy. You can just get comboed, and uh, it's kind of just unfortunate, but he still has quite the lead right now. So Yeah, and he's not stopping any of this Gordo pressure. Like, I think it's really smart because Suarez can't really afford to just approach in shields. Like, he has to try and contest the Gordos. He's just not finding the right buttons to do it yet, and because of that, Ling Ling's sitting on almost a fresh stock lead ahead of Suarez. Alright, let's see if Suarez can get anything off. He's Getting, a, getting some hits here and there right now. The Gordo actually going to save him right there. Wow. Both of them trying to contest <laughs> space with their command grabs, but Dude. I think Ling Ling is coming back in with a bit of a better one. <laughs> it's so weird that, like, DDD's inhale is, like, actually a really good command grab and reflector. It, it's, just, it's just one of those moves that, like, you don't expect to be, like, that good, but, like, it's actually, it's actually really good. Oh yeah, it works wonders. Right now, the real MVP though is Gordo. Easily, like Ling Ling has managed to get so much damage and contest so much space just by putting Gordo out there. And Suarez has not been able to reliably find an answer uh -oh. to it. You know, on top of having an armor jump, on top of having an up B that lifts him up, on top of having a really good air touch, he got magnet hands too. Yeah, you don't well, gotta worry about Suarez coming back to the stage. Oh my god, the shark with the upper is actually gonna just... That, that was so cheeky. That, <laughs> that, was, that was... That was so good. Oh that my was god. Dead Man DI. <laughs> I don't know where Suarez was going. I don't think he expected to get poked by up air, but... He DI'd... Like, every time Ling Ling hit him with the up air that game, he DI'd perfectly. He always went, like, so far to, like, the left or the right. But that up air? No. Yeah, no, that one was kind of cursed. Yeah. Alright, um... Oh, we're just gonna run up that. Okay. Yeah, no, a really comfortable stage for Yoshi. I think what needs to change is Suarez's approach to the matchup. I don't know, because, like, like, obviously, the main thing, like you alluded to, was those Gordos. You know, Yoshi doesn't really have a lot of moves that can, like, consistently contest them. One of the, like, I think one of them, the only that we've seen right now is, like, Yoshi back air. And, like, yeah, Yoshi back air is really good at, like, just beating and stuffing out Gordos, but, like, that's hard to, like, position and, like, do consistently, so... Yeah, no, I agree. I think that's it's the tool to use, so I just got to figure out the way to use it. And at least right off the bat from Game 2, we see it work out, but working it out consistently, that's going to be the hard part. Well, yeah, Egg, Egg is another move that can, like, you know, really just mess up with those Gordos. Yep. All right. Cheeky F-Smash, you're gonna put 20 on the lane right now. 
Yeah, but that's a heavy penguin. He's a heavy penguin. I think Suarez needs to play out this match a bit more patiently. Uh, Ooh, the down air off the top is not going to take it, though, but... A that lot dealt, of damage. Oh, yeah, that dealt, like, what? 30 plus damage right there? Yeah, no, that's a... That move is a burner. Like, if it's not killing, you're wrecking up so many hits. There's the confirm off the egg. All right, Suarez sitting a little pretty. Is this the first time we've seen Suarez with a lead? Yes, so far. All right. Like, Ling Ling was just playing out game one so patiently and responding so well to Suarez's buttons that Suarez just really just didn't get a grasp of how to play the matchup. Here, it looks like Suarez is more collected, and because of that, I wouldn't really say it's like a runaway game for Suarez, but it's definitely more even. I, I feel like I feel like the main difference right now is, like, Suarez is able to just, like, Suarez has been picking his spots a lot better when to go in. Oh, my God, I'm surprised that that didn't, like, stage spike or anything. He's fair. He's been paying dividends. Up tilt barely, not gonna KO. You yeah, know, excellent DI from Suarez, keeping him alive. Poked out with down tilt, <laughs> and it's not enough. Ooh, great patience, but four throw is not gonna kill. Nah. It's one of those, like, fake kill throws where, like, you can't rely on it, but after, like, a stupid percentage, it'll probably kill. Gordo, though, that's getting it done. Oh, yeah. Alright. Suarez still has, like, a sizable lead done. But it's starting to be become more possible for Ling to come back right now. Ooh, how did that not Gordo? What? I guess he just was still on cooldown from where the other Gordo despawned. That's just unfortunate timing. Yeah. Suarez with another, I guess, flub on the egg, but he's still got a good 20% out of that, so... No, yeah, it's one of those best-case scenarios where, like, DDD doesn't have, like, a reliable reversal out of the egg lay, so, oh, like, you, right. just, you just get damage, and that's yeah. okay. If he gets a kill, stellar! But, uh, no, we just like some damage. Because yeah. DDD at 188 at least looks more killable. Oh, yeah. Great pair from the ledge. Uh oh. My god. Oh, that was so good. Now, still, it's Suarez just chilling with the lead. Like, he looks like he's fully adapted as necessary to fight against DDD. So, the honest is on Ling Ling to try and pick up the pace here. Something that something that's kind of happened throughout the match is like stock one and like early stock two for Suarez has been like you know like super like I don't want to say aggressive but like he definitely like he was definitely interacting with Ling a lot more but like as the game has like paced out the tempo has definitely gone down I feel yeah. like it, it's very interesting to see like I guess the dichotomy in the playstyle yeah. like. Yoshi has the tools to facilitate a very passive playstyle. In fact, Suarez managed to... It, apparently, here's your Hangman fun fact for the day. The set where Suarez timed out Nelvin is the first time he's won a set by timeout. Really? Huh. Like, he can do it. It's possible. But more often than not, we see Suarez dive into his enemy's face, start a combo, and have it be big damage or an early kill. Alright. Suarez starting to get a... A little bit of a lead right now when you know when he lost the second stock he wasn't that ahead but another up he, tilt dare oh my god he's gotten so consistent with landing these dares today Ooh, I'd love to see it like smaller characters get absolutely fried but it's important for these bigger characters because it's just big damage because that's what allows you to just run up and up smash all right i did not expect Suarez to like i guess turn that around so like so comfortably like he was in the he was in the driver's seat that whole game yeah I wonder what Ling will do will he like go for a different stage and try switching up will he pull the peach out I feel like the peach would be a really big like dynamic shift here pick to small battlefield kind of leads that I favor think, I think that's peach I think that's peach oh yeah it's it's oh. hard to tell because it's a really good stage for both DDD and peach Wait, is Small Battlefield here? Whoa, whoa, wait. We've seen a couple of stages uh, sets go to Small Battlefield. I guess that I guess that's a gentleman then. Yeah, I was about to say. I yeah, no. The, while the graphic is up rotating, Small Battlefield is, it is not, not on, on the there. stage list here it at isn't. Encore. Yeah. Straight up, we've had like four or five stream matches go on Small Battlefield. Hey, so man, if both people want to. <sighs> So yeah, I guess Suarez doesn't want to, and uh, that leaves. Okay, 
I was gonna say. Yeah, no, if, it's a similar stage layout, but the the shortening of the stage makes it a lot more well suited for DDD and for Peach. I'm actually really interested why he would stay DDD when switching to like that kind of like smaller PS2 variant, because like I feel like the room helps Ling a lot as DDD. So I thought he was just down to scrap with Suarez with Peach when he was going to go to small battlefield, but it didn't happen. So who cares? Yeah, no, that's a that's a bit of a rough one. And something to be mindful of when you're traveling in between regions, because as we've highlighted a couple of times now, Ling Ling, not from around these parts, in fact, a Connecticut resident. Oh, yeah. So when you're coming out of your home region, be mindful of the stage list of where you're traveling to, because you might get comfortable knowing Small Battlefield's on a lot of stage lists, but it's not present here. And that really does change the game for the types of characters you play. Oh, yeah. Well, the Jet Hammer? That, there's no way that... I don't think it would think that was a, You think that was a missing foot? <sighs> yeah, we that, haven't seen Ling go for I, it. I don't think Ling's that crazy. <laughs> it's a button that's... Loki kind of alright for covering the ledge. But Suarez is jumping consistently from the ledge, and Jet Hammer is not good for covering jump. It'll cover almost any other option, like, actually. But, but any character but jump. jumping... No, like, DDD is just not fast enough. And the jump is not good enough. Yeah. Ooh, I... Yeah, Suarez has, like, egged so much Game 3 right now. And Ling has kept it fairly competitive right now. And we've also seen, a, you know, a lot more scrapping from both players, so... Yeah, it's been a very bloody start to Game 3, but... I think, in general, a combination of... Oh my god! Talk about a snipe! An egg to Gordo! That's the first stock in favor of Suarez. And I was actually just about to build up about how you brought up there's so many more eggs. Like... For Suarez, it makes so much more sense to have the egg go forward and break if Ling Ling's gonna throw out a Gordo or just burst with Nair, as opposed to putting Yoshi himself. Because game one, that's how he took so much free damage. Yeah, and I feel like egg is egg. I feel like egg for uh, for uh, DDD specifically is very awkward to like you know reflect. So egg egg is such a good call right now, and he's. Suarez is running away the lead, but up tilt. I'm gonna take the first stock on Suarez. Barely gonna miss that inhale. He's gonna get punished Ooh. for it. A little hopeful dash attack right there. Yeah, no, I feel like things are just running away from Ling Ling slowly but surely. The percentage sits super heavy in Suarez's favor. Like, I feel like the game momentum has just shifted further and further and further into Suarez's favor. And I think the nail in the coffin for that really was the fact that Small Paddlefield was not available to Ling Ling because he had to adjust his game plan to just sort of sticking it out with Pokemon Stadium 2, which is unfortunately a really good stage for Yoshi. Oh yeah, we saw earlier on that like first, on that second stock actually, my bad, that was good. That Suarez just got like a, a straight up like really good extension off of that platform. He just got like another up air nair into whatever move. That just chips on such more percent. But for a character like Unity, you need that damage. Oh, and I like the idea from Ling where he had the Gordo and then advancing uh -oh. with the grab. Trying to cheat out the game of rock, paper, scissors by throwing two out at the same time, but good rollback from Suarez ends up leading to it. Right again, he's in charge. He's brought us right over to the ledge. He's looking for his egg into forward air to end things out, but Ling Ling is not giving it to him. I'm oh, wow. Sure. Yeah, egg lay and grab just both with. Oh. Wow, I did not expect that to bite him back in the face like that. Shielded fair, but nothing out of it. Great Gordo from Ling. Just really just like breaking his ankles right there with that tempo. Ooh, nice fair. Ling Ling needs to get him right now. And he's going to do it with the back air. All right. Oh. It's DDD at max rage, but he's not dead yet. This is actually kind of doable for Ling Ling. This is one angry penguin right now. Ling Ling is starting to catch on with those eggs, but the survivability is so much. Like solid DI, really heavy character. It's a great situation for Ling Ling. That was such a good inhale on Ling's end. Good job respecting that bear there. Oh my god, the egg is going to bite him back. We almost had another situation of the egg reflecting Gordo ending up being Ling's demise, but... Not yet. 192, though? Yeah, you're not going to see Suarez fish out for much more than just back air. Because raw oh, yeah. back air is going to kill. He will just kill. Huh. All right. 
Okay. And our first contestant for winners' finals is determined as Suarez.